are at SVI today, we are launching the next gen Ranger that is armored. We have different armored levels B4, B6, B6 Top Gun. So we are here to launch those. We have a partnership with SVI. They are one of our recognized QVM modifiers. So this is the standard Ford Ranger. We're going to take it for a spin and then we're going to take the bulletproof uh, SVR version and see how they stack up. So in South Africa, we all know the crime statistics. If you're a high-end individual, you between your place of where you stay and where you work, in between you feel unsafe. That's where the armored vehicle will make sense. And obviously your corporate clients, mining sector, for example, you can't do patrolling on a mine without an armored vehicle these days. It's just too risky. So an armored vehicle to resist the impact of a round. We talk about armoring levels, so it all depends on what you want to resist. So at a B4 level, that is your handgun protection level. So what we use in the vehicle is 21 millimeters of armored glass, and we use Kevlar for most of the body areas, which is a light composite material. So your B4 discrete armor level is perfect for your day-to-day -day running. You're not a high-end individual, you don't face a massive threat, or you haven't got any valuables in the car. But then if you need higher protection levels, the highest you can go to in South Africa without a special permit is called B6. That's for your assault rifle protection. So AK-47, R1, R5. What you have to use then is 38 millimeters armored glass and five to six mil armor steel plate that they need to cover all the body areas to resist the fire from say AK-47. When it comes to armoring a vehicle, you do add mass to the vehicle. At B4 level, at our double cap, it's 280 kilograms. At B6 on a double cap is 650. So pricing on armored vehicles, it is very expensive because most of the materials are imported. It's a big job to convert the vehicle, takes the VIP vehicles, takes up to three months to convert. There's a lot of workforce needed. So if you look at a VIP solution, maybe for a Ranger double cap, then you're talking about over 500,000 X watts for the conversion. If you look at a B6, which is your assault rival, highest level of conversion, you're looking at over 800,000 X watts for that conversion just hopped out of the SVI Armored B6 variant of the Ford Ranger Wildtrak, having compared that with the OEM, the standard car. Just before that, there is quite a noticeable difference. You can feel the sort of transfer of weight, you can feel the heft in the doors. It's a completely different experience. What can I complain about? The cabin. The cabin is quite clustered, but it's for protection. Uh, manual wise, I'm not enjoying that manual thingy. When I left here, I stalled and everybody looked at me like I can't drive a manual, but it's because of the weight, because they've ended a massive 650 kilograms to that car. It's a great product, obviously, crime in South Africa is something that we all have to deal with. And um, a lot of people deal with cash, a lot of people have, have businesses where they might be high risk targets. Um, this is a solution for them, because at the end of the day, I think uh, you'd rather want to come home with a few bullet holes in the side of your car than in you.